Item number SCP-3332 Index Anchoring for a Citroen Object Class Keta Special Containment Procedures All witnesses of SCP-3332 manifestations are to be located and given appropriate amnestic treatment. Areas SCP-3332 manifests in are to be closed off from public use until demanifestation. Any footage of SCP-3332's manifestation and effects are to be seized and taken into Foundation custody and falsified reports of multiple vehicles being stolen are to be planted. Description SCP-3332 is a large steel ship anchor painted white with minor signs of rust and chipping to its paint. Analysis of rust and paint samples taken from SCP-3332 have shown to be non-anomalous. SCP-3332 will appear within various car parks and other locations containing a large number of unattended vehicles throughout England. SCP-3332 will appear several miles above the location before landing, often causing severe damage upon impact. SCP-3332 will manifest in a single location roughly every two to three months. Shortly after SCP-33332's manifestation, a large fishing net, SCP-3332-1, will appear and fall several meters from above SCP-3332's manifestation point. SCP-3332-1 will then be hauled back towards its point of origin and disappear, carrying back any vehicles caught within it. SCP-3332 will then raise into the sky and de-manifest, whereupon a faint sound similar to that of a foghorn will be emitted several meters above. Multiple attempts to track SCP-3332 via GPS trackers have been attempted. All coordinates connected thus far have fallen within various fishing areas of the North Sea. GPS trackers have been recovered from the desolate areas of the sea's waters. Further analysis of SCP-3332 has shown the amount of rust and chipping to increase and decrease with each manifestation, implying SCP-3332 to instead be multiple instances rather than one. Addendum 3332.1 On 12-05-2017, SCP-3332 manifested above a car park in England. After demanifesting, what appeared to be a vehicle suddenly fell from SCP-3332's manifestation point. The vehicle was recovered and inspection revealed it to be a white Seat Ibiza. The car's interior contained a wallet presumably belonging to its owner. The wallet contained what appeared to be several notes and coinage of an unknown currency and a driver's license issued by a country under the name of Sumikona.